25th. It's the second Saturday of turkey season here in Kentucky, 2020. We're in the hay bale behind this morning. Got a decoy out here in front of us. We've heard one gobble back up the hollow. A couple times. It's supposed to rain. He just gobbled again just now. It's supposed to rain. In about three or four hours, it's supposed to set in and rain the rest of the day. So hopefully they'll move before it rains. And maybe we can have some action. Derek and Fred and Mom are up at uh, the other pond, and uh, we hunted there the day before yesterday and had one gobbler and I just didn't feel real secure shooting him. He never would come out of a strut. He stayed around for quite a while and had a couple of hens come through with him. And he finally went off with them. But uh, I didn't feel comfortable shooting him. He's about 47 yards, and I knew it's early in the season, so we'll uh, sit here and see what we see this morning. We've had this turkey goblin. He uh, came around behind us. He came from on the other side over here on the other road bed over here. Came all the way across the holler. Came up here behind us. And there was different times I could have killed him behind us here. But we couldn't get any footage of it the way we were sitting. And he got over here at the corner and he gobbled. over here and call out the back window like I was calling away like maybe the end was leaving him but he just stand there and twirl and fan out and uh, he's now over here on a ride somewhere we don't he's down in the creek bed and uh, he could pop out anytime or he could go back across you never know which way they'll go but uh, he wouldn't go commit to come all the way down to the decoy.
It's Carly. Say Carly had us uh, messed up there. <laughs> they come in to my right. They just pull up. They come up out of this creek. And they come up a bank. And then the first thing you can see is their head. And I just looked there and I saw two to begin with, just heads. And then I saw the other one. And I leaned back a little because I didn't want, to, want them to see me out the window. And uh, they were uh, come up in the field and a hen came down to my right. And I couldn't move because of her. And uh, then there was another hen came up the, from the other side of the creek. And uh, they had us where we couldn't move. Three strutters. They have three, three of them strutters. I would have never dreamed to see three strutters come in like that. Well, I've, at least I've scratched now, so I was the only one that hadn't scratched yet. But uh, well, I, I, was, got, I was worried we lost our chance this morning. Yeah. Because that one came in a gobble and hammering. And then these three come in. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a different bird. Those yeah, are four there's, different birds. There's four different ones. And uh, we're fortunate and blessed to get this gobble this morning. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll have some good turkey flies to eat off that. <laughs> that's right. Good job. Anyway, let's tell them what happened. We just haven't got back. We just got this bird and brought him back. And we're gonna give them a little time up middle of the field, middle of the farm up here that we have to go back through to get back to the truck. But uh, we're gonna give them a little time. They had a couple of jakes out there and a hen in the field and they just had had two gobblers that had skirted them and went around to the next ridge over. So we're gonna give them a little time and uh, let us see if they can uh, get one of those birds to come in. I don't know whether they uh, they may go back and they may come on and Maybe go up on the ridge. The they may come back all the way down to the end of the farm. So uh, who knows, but we'll give them a little while and uh, uh, give them a little chance to hunt those birds and maybe they can get them interested and come back down to where they're hunting. But it's been a good morning so far.